Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Dyneasy Speedmaster D-Dry textile jacket. Most people associate jackets for sporty riding with leather but a textile jacket like this can offer a much more practical alternative. The weather resistance and flexibility is often much more practical. That's especially so with the Dyneasy Speedmaster D-Dry, which has that D-Dry waterproof membrane inside. And in this jacket, it can be removed. So that gives you a lot more versatility and flexibility on the options. I'll go into that membrane in a bit more detail in a moment. But first of all, let's cover the main shell. That outer is made from DuPont Cordura. That's the proper branded Cordura material. Often people misuse the Cordura name, but this is the proper DuPont stuff. That main shell of Cordura is backed up by Dainese's D-Stone fabric in the impact zones like the shoulders, which is quite a heavy duty nylon material that offers even more abrasion resistance than the Cordura in those really vulnerable zones. The main fastener to this jacket runs a really simple zip down the bottom there. And then behind here, you can see that waterproof membrane and then the collar fastener is a press stud with two options to press it against. The cuffs are fastened with zips and Velcro. I tested these with a good chunky pair of winter gloves and I was able to get them either over the top of the cuff of this jacket and also could fit them inside. So whichever combination, whether you want your gloves on the inside or the outside, I'd say this jacket will work with that. For carrying essentials, there are two pockets, one at each side on the hip and then also vents underneath each armpit just to help bring in a bit of cooling air and they're joined by two vents that sit at the lower back to help expel warm air from inside. Those become even more useful when you find out that the liner on the inside is removable, the waterproof membrane. So pulling that zip down there reveals that the jacket and the liner are separate so you can easily pop that out by undoing both of those zips and then two press stud tabs, one at each cuff that allow you to take that liner out. What that means is then these vents become direct to body. So all there is standing between your body and the cold air outside is a really thin mesh material. So you can get a good amount of airflow through there to cool you down while you're riding. So let's look at that liner in a little bit more detail. The liner sits behind the main shell and it's designed to be worn separately. It can be worn on its own as a lightweight jacket. Having something like that is quite handy if you're using a jacket like this on a trip. It means you don't need to take a separate jacket with you. When you reach a destination, you can just zip it out from the outer shell and you can just use this casually just to get around in town or wherever you are of an evening. And it's also lined on the inside. If we undo the, a few of the popper closures, just to look inside, there's a, a lightweight lining to make it a bit more comfortable against the skin and also to introduce an element of warmth to it. There's no removable quilted thermal liner in this jacket. If you're looking for something that's going to cover much colder temperatures, then I'd say really you're going to be looking at a base layer and a mid layer to wear underneath this separately. So the waterproof lining also has what we call a Napoleon pocket just inside the chest here, where you can put essentials like your phone and your wallet and keep them close by. That's especially handy on this jacket because you don't have a corresponding pocket like that in the main shell. So if you're riding without the waterproof membrane, you won't get the benefit of that pocket. If you're looking really closely and you can see the zip tab here and you think that's a pocket, it's not. That's the section that you unzip and that's where the Dainese Pro Armour chest armour goes because you're able to add protective chest inserts on this jacket and there's also a pocket in the back to add either a G1 or a G2 Dainese back protector. All of those items are available separately and we'll put links to those in the description for this video. Having a removable waterproof membrane inside a sports jacket like this isn't all that common, but I think it's really handy on a sporty jacket. I would say the majority of riding for the sort of person who's gonna buy this jacket would be in sunny weather. So that means you could take that out and you don't have that lining next to the skin that's gonna make you feel sweatier than you need to. But when you do need protection against the rain, you've got something that you can zip inside and carry on with. It's really the ultimate in flexibility for that sort of riding. So going back to the protection, in terms of the armour inside, there's shoulder and elbow armour included, 
and they make level one of the CE standard. It's a plastic hard shell armor that Dainese have been using for quite a long time and that's velcroed in place at the shoulders and the elbows and then you've obviously got like I said those options to add chest and back protection as well. The final bit on the inside is that there's a full length connection zip to attach the jacket to matching Dainese trousers. So overall the protection combined with that impact armor on the inside meets level A, the basic standard within the latest CE regulations. And that's kind of as I'd expect from a lightweight sporty jacket like this. I hope that gives you a full picture of the Dainese Speedmaster D-Dry jacket. But if there's anything that you feel we've missed, please pop a question in the comments section below and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.